Ladies and gentlemen, at the example of the conservation project of one of the most famous churches of the 19th century in Germany, I'll try to demonstrate the using of digital mapping documentation as an instrument for the management of large conservation projects and as feature for quantity and cost calculation. St. Ludwig's was built in the 19th century from 1829 till 1844 by Friedrich Gärtner. He was one of the most important architects of the time. The monument was built in the new Roman Byzantine style and has enormous wall paintings. The church was heavily damaged during the war and repair work took until 1958 to complete. Inside the church, there is the biggest wall fresco of the newer history. Painted by Peter von Cornelius, leader of the Nazarenes, a group dedicated to the revival of Italian Renaissance fresco. The fresco of the Last Judgment that you see here measures 19 meters by 12 meters. And here you see the dimensions of the church. In 2012, a team of architects, phototechnicians, software engineers, and conservators started with the in investigation. The main objectives were, first, to map and survey the damages of a defined test area. Second, to develop the restoration master plan and test it in selected areas. And to calculate the costs for the restoration of damages. The restoration of the whole church is planned to happen in 2016. Here you can see the size of the test area, following some examples of what we found. Next one. Damages of the paint layer, like exfoliation and powdering surfaces. Damaging salts, here in detail. These required interventions, as you can see here. We also found material changes, like from previous works. Here and in the next two images, you see some cleaning tests. To document the painting technique, the conditions, the damages, and the interventions, we use software. Let us go one step back. First, think about the size of this object and the size of the test area we worked on. Then imagine the quantity of damages. And finally, the fact that we worked to make estimations for the restoration of the whole church. We have to estimate how many people should work, for how long they should work, and how much would the interventions cost. We knew that calculation errors would have a direct impact on the quality of the work of the restoration starting in 2016 and also as impactful on the quality is the documentation we produce. The software we used is called Metigo Map, 
and was developed in, the, in close cooperation with conservators. Metigo Map is a software solution to perform digital mapping in rectified images. There are versions in English, Spanish, French and German. The four main applications are image rectification for object documentation in scale, drawing tools for the digital implementation of the mapping and for the organization of mapping project within a hierarchy. Automated area analysis according to the damages types and exact quantity and cost calculation. Let me show you how we prepare the images to be in scale. Película. Uh, Here one example. At first we have to measure the distance between two points of a defined square. We go to the draw functions square lines and we measure the distances on the rec rectification plan. In the second part we write the distances in the window open at the right. And afterwards we use the measure tool and go to the to the start and end points of the square. Finally, we click on rectification and now the software calculates a new rectified image and saves it in the project folder. The conservator can prepare the images with a simple digital camera. In our case, the pictures were made and edited by Mr. Siedler and his team. Here you can see the first image of the altar wall. The second of five images. The darker area on the right is the reason why we needed five. From the other side. You can rectify your images based on distance measured, as you have seen. T points or coordinates make it true to scale. Cut drawings can also be imported. It is also possible to incorporate images with, with different qualities, such as resolution, scale, and color. Any rectified image can be assembled and processed in one mapping project. Here the final result. The one meter marks around the image can give you a better idea of the size. Here 16 meters wide and 26 meters high. Here you see the rectified and cropped images of the ceiling. and the mounted walls. For organizing the work, projects are created. Every area and every structure of the building becomes, becomes a project with an idea composed of a short sign for the component name and a number. For example, LH for longhouse. SS for ship south and QH for the crossing section of the church in the center. Here you see the denomination given to rectified and mounted images. For example, WN on the top left stands for the wall north. Okay. On the next image, you will see that every building structure can be saved as a project and then it independently worked on. Here one example from the crossing section. 
esa parte you see the pillars watered arches and the ceiling frescoes now you see on the left the so called higher heat tree okay. every single project is listed and contains the concerning image the project chosen here the south part of the crossing section is indicated on the floor plan by a lighter gray on the top right of the screen you also see the corresponding image okay. with the help of the hierarchy even large mapping projects with many sub projects can be managed now we open the project and you are ready to start with the digital mapping you can draw polygons and freehand lines and curves or you can use rectangle and circle functions areas can be filled with transparent colors or with hatchings There are mapping classes for line mapping and for area mapping as well as annotations and scales. In your project mapping classes can be can be used for different themes like pa painting techniques, the different images and interventions. Once the mapping legends are created, they can be used again in future mapping projects. The different mapping classes are divided in groups. In the church we had eight different ones. Here you can see all the docu documented groups together. Here the survey of the painting ground. You can see below each image okay, that every time you map based on vectors, the legend data and area is updated here the survey of the paint layer damages of the painting ground damages of the paint layer interventions of the paint layer documentation of the taken pictures And finally, test areas and material samples. Here you see a summary with four columns showing the automated quantity survey. The legend, the number of items, the total area, and the percentages at the end of the mapping all the data ca can be exported to an excel spreadsheet and be evaluated depending of the purpose the data can be arranged by the classes of one project several projects or all projects together and finally cost accounting you can create quantity units in own expenses rates for the required jobs as well as for material and equipment in cooperation with the University of Conservation here in Mexico City there is a workshop and planning for next year Thank you for your attention. Muchas gracias a todos nuestros ponentes, muchas gracias a todos los que están presentes.
Desafortunadamente nuestro inicio protocolario se llevó más tiempo del que esperábamos y no nos va a dar tiempo de hacer una ronda de preguntas. Les pedimos por favor que si gustan, pues platiquen con nuestros ponentes allá afuera en el café para poder continuar con la siguiente mesa. Y si aquí hay ponentes de la siguiente mesa, les pido por favor que se acerquen para tenerlos ya listos. Gracias.